Always try that one. Thank you. And this is this always be prepared. This is a heavily weighted pen. <laughs> oh, it's not a pen. It's a light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back on top. Next one. <laughs> Um, I am often the captain or leader of the group. I said sometimes. I said sometimes. Okay, for you two, that's both blank, and that's yeah. good. That's good. But you're starting to see, if you want to be, you've actually got a lot of orange between you, which gives you a lot of um, the qualities we want in leadership, all right? But if you're downing yourself at the moment, or you don't want to be centre of attention, and all of a sudden you made the leader... Yeah. Oh, that's something that we need to work with. That's putting yourself out there, getting used to doing this, being used to being interviewed. So, you know, with the golf guys, I used to take a camera and a microphone over when they were just about to hit off, even if it was, you know, no one else over at the golf course in the morning. Oh, it's a fine day here at the, uh, you know, like we're going to listen. How are you feeling before you're hitting off? Because at some point you're going to have to deal with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next one. You go. Being a team player is always more important than Ooh. being the best. Oh, I'm interested in this. What do we put here? <laughs> I said sometimes. I did true. True. You can have an orange, and you can have an orange if you can tell me when is the time. When, there is one time that you need to be the best. What do you reckon it might be? When the when team is <laughs> hmm? Oh, well, let's me. say, is we watched it the other day in a basketball game. It's the last 30 seconds, and oh, I'm saying shit. to Isaac, oh, Give me the ball. Yeah. Give me the ball. I'm going to shoot. Well, other people will go, oh my God, I don't want to make the mistake. This is the only time when being the best, when you're prepared to go back me, is more important. All the rest of the time, you've got to be, if you're playing, I'll even say if you're an in an individual sport, being looking after yourself is important, like the running, but if you just ever did that by yourself, you're going to get very lonely when you get old. Yeah. So you've got to have a lot of people who like running, putting it together. Ah, oh, go in here, doing the camps. Uh, let's go and do this together. Let's, you know, like, let, let's make this happen. So that you've actually got, and also, you like running, but you also come and get Isaac and meet him at the end and things like that. So again, this is this connectedness that's also I, important. I rarely run, so I maybe once a week mm. out of seven or so runs. Yeah, it's but again, myself. and again, this is understanding. When mm. we're talking about this, you actually do have a connectedness to people. Yeah. But many people run and do things by themselves because they're actually sorting out a lot of the other stuff on this thing. All right, next one. So what did I get for that? <laughs> you both got an orange. <laughs> <laughs> I never <laughs> resent it when I don't get my own way. I said sometimes. But I said... Never. I said true. Ah, Josh, you get an image management. <laughs> um, the truth is, at some point in life, we'll all resent it when we don't get our own way. And that was, Isaac read the question correctly with that one. What's the question actually say? I never. Okay, resent. so I'll say, Josh, most of the time you don't resent yeah. it. Yeah. But because it's got a never on it, yeah. right? And this is where these questions come into these things. If you were doing that on a... Um, a quiz they go, oh, I'm not sure if he's image managing. The fact that I know you and I'm actually going, oh, yeah, this is exactly what you are, what I see is what, you know, like yeah. what you're thinking is wait, a lot of what I see. Wait, what do you mean image management? In, image management means, oh, I'm always, oh, no, nah, I never get mad. Because yeah. often people don't want people to ever think that, you know, like yeah. they get annoyed at things. And never is, it's also how you think when you don't get your own way. Like, I'll go... Most of the time, I'll say never to that. But every now and then, like, seriously, I get annoyed because they're idiots for not going along with what I wanted. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes I'm right and they're wrong. And in a, in a relationship, <laughs> everyone at some stage, is one's going to go, no, we're doing this and we're going to do that. And it's how the resentment comes out. And I would say, guess what? You know, both of you aren't, aren't highly resentful people. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm not it's either. It's just as strong. Yeah, so that's uh, that's why that was there. So now you know why that question's there. Next one. We're just done more like that. Uh, I am embarrassed easily. Mm. I said false. I said true. That's the orange. Isaac's is a yellow. So again, this is a little bit about how is this connected with the timid that we were talking about? It's embarrassment that creates that Isaac will stay a little quieter earlier because until he feels comfortable around someone, and then when Isaac feels comfortable, you would have to say it's nothing like that. Would that be true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would be, wouldn't it? You know, like we know each other, but it's funny how quickly I get to know people that I don't know at all. 
once you start talking about this and once they, you can see how they sit and how they are it's quite funny people go it's like you read my mind and I'm like no it's not it's once you get an idea of what their concerns are so for Isaac this embarrassment thing is one of the things that I'm saying if he wants to shine he needs to learn to go it's okay mm -hmm. and remember a lot of this comes from when you were little you know, if, mm. have a look at people that you knew wanted to be show-offs in your class versus people who'd go, oh, I'll just sit here and wait, you know, like and everything. And also um, how you look, all of that, whether you've been teased, whether all of that when it comes through. Also, when you're number three or four in a family versus number one, all of these make quite a difference in how people are. And, you know, there's all these stupid studies that say number ones are all like this. It's all interactive with things. So, yeah. again, with this with Isaac... Because he's got that. That at the moment, if you're looking where your eyes actually yellows are, they're connected with that. All right. So this is where you start to actually go. Oh, sometimes. yes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> exactly right. Next one. I rarely lose my temper. I said true. Yeah. Okay. Orange. So again, look at you guys. Are you men you would like around women? Yes. Yes. You know because guess what? You don't lose your temper. You're. Um, you really get angry. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take that off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this, so this is the problem. But this is the problem with society because we're having a joke about it because I know you guys and everything else like that. The trouble is there are young men who are angry, get angry quickly, and do it a lot. And so these, once you're starting to see this, the biggest thing I can say is not only. Do I have to teach women to learn to actually be assertive, but also teach other men, oh, what goes through your head and what goes through their head yeah. can be completely different mm -hmm. things. All right, next one. I'm calm even in a stressful situation. Is that true? I said sometimes. Okay, true is orange. And Isaac's got a sometimes, which is good. But again, if we can actually teach Isaac the center in breath and actually to be prepared and actually get least embarrassed, because half the time, People who get embarrassed in stressful situations or can't, aren't calm, it's because they're worrying about all the things that might go wrong. All right? They're worried, oh, what if I don't get in or what if this isn't, you know, what if the coach doesn't play me or what if I miss the shot? All right? They're all stressful situations. So the way we get around it is to do all the preparation plus also learn how to control our heart rates and our thoughts. All right, next one. I look forward to a hard challenge. Yeah, true. True. Said true. True. Yeah, I figured you'd both say that. Orange. Okay, that's the end of question sheet one. Are you enjoying doing this? I am. Yeah, it's been this great. Is, see, this is it's quite interesting because this is the sort of thing when I do this with whole footy clubs and blokes. Like people the go feedback. the banter, the yeah. feedback. Yeah. yeah, isn't it? It's actually not yeah. about going this is right or wrong. This is about this is learning about yourself. So not only do I want you to keep these, but I want you to keep them and repeat them in about a year or two's time, yeah. which is why they're in my book. They're at the back of my book and they're there. So you can photocopy them and go back to them and go, so if one of you, you know, like say you got into a relationship with someone or you were away all the time and that, and you find that you're got not surrounded by your friends and all of this, you might find some of these are turning yellow. And then you go, the answer is Jenny would say, this isn't good for me. Mm -hmm. All right? If you find, oh, they're getting more orange, oh, this is all right. Or if the blanks are staying blank at the right time, no problem whatsoever. But for the first time, you're starting to understand which are the good things for you as a human being and which ones aren't. All right, next one. We'll go, we'll do another page. I got high marks in PE. Oh, well. yes. Well, hold it. <laughs> um, for you guys, we're both right, true to that. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, you both get orange. And we're talking about this from a sport point of view. Yeah. But if, um, for instance, I had a guy who was a pilot, <laughs> his was science and maths. Because <laughs> yeah, right. that's what made, that was what important. Yeah. Because if you don't get high marks in science and maths, and then you go into a field that requires science and maths, <laughs> yeah. or if you don't get a high mark in PE, I'm probably saying I'm a bit interested in where your sk skill set's coming from. Yeah, yeah. for English, I got a high mark. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what about, did you do photography or anything at school? No. See, that again might be something that... But I did chemistry and I got low mark. <laughs> <laughs> so again, this is where we can mention things that we would have to turn the video off <laughs> <laughs> yeah. after watching Breaking Bad. <laughs> so again, this is... So 
this is supposed to be fun learning about this yeah. is not supposed to be oh my god there's something wrong with me and this is what's wrong with psychology instead of putting everyone in lumping them in baskets what I talk about is thinking like a champion isn't just about sport it's actually about having a really good life so you know like it doesn't matter what you want to do it's helpful next one I don't mind speaking up even in front of strangers said true sometimes Uh, I knew that was going to come (laughs) again orange and Isaac's is uh, but if it's when he chooses to Mm. that's okay it's but when he needs to so in other words if Isaac needs to do a presentation in front of someone Mm. I need to him for him to go this is where I choose to So for me, speaking in front of a thousand people in a hall, is like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Yeah. All right? So someone was laughing because one sport I know had a punishment wheel. I asked them, did they have a rewards wheel? But they didn't have one of those. Interesting, isn't it, how you do that? You have a punishment wheel. So part of their punishment wheel was one of the things that came up out of their ten was sing karaoke in front of everyone else. Would that be a punishment for you? No. What about you? Uh, maybe. Ah, so maybe that's an interesting one. Song it is. Isn't that an interesting <laughs> one when we were just talking about that speaking up in front of strangers? Because yeah, if we changed it to singing I'm, I'm, I'm in front of strangers. Sing. Yeah. Ah, but that's good because that means I'm not going to practice you doing that. Josh, to get over his I want to be centre of attention, you have to sing in front of people. Do you get that? Yeah. So you're finding things that maybe challenge you a bit. Well, Isaacs might be making a speech in front of people, yeah. all right? So again, this is where we start to find that out. And I'm the same as Isaac. Singing karaoke in front of people, I said to people, punishment? This is like, no, this is one of the world's best things. You all have to sit there and listen to me. <laughs> so do we understand how people view things? It's quite different again. And this is where when you want to put yourself out and practice, you've got to work out what are the things that, like, Isaac, I would send, go in order you know, when he was little or things like that, so that you actually get people to do things that they're not used to. But I've never done this before. It doesn't matter. Make a mistake. I'll be there to help you. Yeah. But have a go. Mm-hmm. All right, next one. Um, I'm happy to follow others. I said true. I said sometimes. You get a yellow and you get a flank. Now, you're going to laugh at this, Isaac, because you are going to change around what you're thinking. You might change it to orange. And Josh Mark too. Look, the whole idea is this is why I have I find it very hard to follow people on Twitter. Why do I find it hard to follow people? Because you don't agree with them? Not necessarily. The biggest thing is I don't want you to follow people. I want you to go along with people. Isaac, this is you. You do not follow people blindly. All right? Well, why is it in there then? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Your wording is just bad. It's not trivia. wording. It's how, people, <laughs> it's how people are and think. And again, this is what I'm saying is... People who say they're happy to follow people are generally considered as compliant, right? They just go, yeah, they're doing that, I'm doing this. I'll, if, if you've come along with a really good idea, Josh, I'll go, yeah, I'm, but I'll check that it's a good idea before yeah. I go, oh, Josh did that. So I'm immediately going, because I might go, Josh is absolutely fantastic at his job, but he's now all said we're all going to do this, and I'll go, I'm not sure Josh is an expert in that one. You know, do you understand what I'm saying? So. Yeah. This whole thing about following people, I want you to change your life to understand I'm happy to go along or follow after I've done some investigation. Yeah. And that's Kahneman stuff, that 90% of our world goes along with people without checking it. Yeah. So I will ask you again, like I ask everyone else, have you done shuttle tests or beep tests or um, yo-yo tests? Uh Uh-huh. Yes? Yeah. What's your maximum heart rate? I don't know. Two or four. You know that? Yeah. From where? How much? Good. You've got one on. You've found out, which is really important. But I'm saying nearly every kid I know that at school did all of these, never found out their maximum heart rates. Mm-hmm. Most of my AFL footballers don't know their maximum heart rates. If you don't know your max, you don't know where your zones are. And we, you know, we were talking about MVO2s the other yeah. day, etc. This is this whole thing of linking head and heart. It's not put out by itself. It's actually, wow, this is important. And so this following others, one of the best ones is ice baths. Everyone got into them. And I'm going, where's the evidence? And one full husband said, there must be. There must be evidence. So we looked it up. There's no evidence to say you need to get in them. If you love them, guess what? Get in them. If you don't like them, go for a walk down the beach. Yeah. So again, it's all of this, our brains and our minds are so affected by things. But the worst thing is people have eaten drunk 
beetroot juice, they've drank carrot juice. Everything is, someone will say it'll give them an edge and they do it. And I was very young when I learned what placebo is. When I was at Emmanuel and we were running races, um, our PE teacher... I or did the, go and read about beetroot juice because I kept hearing it. <laughs> and they did a study and they reckon it did work. Yeah, I know, but the problem is you need to actually make sure they do more than one, one study, study and yeah. you need to look at it. Because even in psychology, they're finding it hard to replicate things. Um, but with the placebo effect, I worked out when I was in, in nine or ten doing athletics and our teacher gave us um, these glucose tablets. Oh, they would make us run faster. Oh, they were amazing. They were magic, these glucose tablets. <laughs> Jelly beans. <laughs> I started working out, oh, is that what glucose is? It's yeah. just sugar. But it sure, certainly made me feel like I was racing faster. 